It was a cold February afternoon when shots rang out in the shops at Wild Lake in Columbia. Two people agreed to meet up with another two people for the purpose of an illegal firearm sale, handgun sale. Some point during that meeting, there was an altercation, a dispute. One person opened fire and then another person fired back. Stray bullets hit a mother and her four-year-old son. Luckily, they're okay. Police say a man involved in the altercation, Tony Blunt Jr., was also shot and recovered. Now, just over a month later, police have arrested Blunt and three other men they say were involved. Blunt, Malachi Smith, Byron Dickey Jr., and a 17-year-old from Waldorf are all facing charges in connection with the incident. It's relief that there's justice being served here when they're, like a little boy got shot and a mom. It's good news to hear. I mean, like I said before, you don't really hear stuff like that in Columbia. Residents say it's not typical, but police say illegal gun sales are becoming more common in Howard County. We are seeing more and more often that these illegal guns are being bought and sold by people who are known to one another. Oftentimes, they're ghost guns that are being made from parts or even fabricated parts that are purchased on the Internet. So we are doing our best to stay on top of, of those sales. In this case, police believe the juvenile fired the shots that struck Blunt, but no one has been officially charged with firing the bullets that hit the mom and boy. The investigation is ongoing. So that doesn't mean that there's not going to be new information or maybe even additional charges going forward. But because all four of them were taken into custody in this incident, we wanted the public to know that at the very least we've gotten them off the street. In Columbia, Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News.